Hello, battery builders and battery designers. How to add more functionality and safety to your battery packs with the GLE Nano right after the intro. So you're building a battery or perhaps you already have a battery and you would like to have a lot of the safety features that you would normally see in a battery coming out of a factory including some other unique features. Well, the GLE Nano will help you accomplish those goals. It'll turn any battery pack into a smart battery pack. So let's take a look at what's inside the box and go over the details. It comes in this um, pretty cool box, magnetic lip. I like the snapping noise. When you open the box inside, what you're gonna find is the solid state switch, the momentary push button, the LCD, the smart barrel uh, plug charger and then underneath you'll have your barrel plug and the wires that you need to attach this to your battery notice the size of the mechanism it's very tiny uh, this is firmware operated it's completely digital and on the bottom the load is completely separate from the brains this patent pending feature allows you to increase the uh, and the amount of FETs uh, for your particular application. This particular uh, setup right here, the board can operate from up to 60 volts, and with this load board, 60 amps continuous, and if you add a different load board, 120, if you stack more, you can really uh, increase the uh, amount of current that you can uh, pass through the switch. The momentary push button is uh, IP67 water resistance and non-latching and that makes it very useful for outdoor applications. Latching switches tend to get filled with dirt and moisture and the latching mechanism um, deteriorates over time. By using a momentary feature recognized by the firmware, uh, this switch will last a very long time. This has no contactors so it's completely digital solid state and uh, should be able to withstand um, the test of time and let's take a look at the components in the bottom one more important feature of the gle nano all-in-one solid state switch is the smart charge port capabilities what that means is that when you insert your charge plug into the charge port the lcd illuminates automatically letting you know the state of charge of your battery the voltage even though the battery is in the off state, further enhancing the uh, features of your battery build or battery pack. But the uh, Gilly Nano is also an anti-spark solid state switch. What that means is that when you the battery is off uh, and you disconnect and connect your battery, you will not see a spark. This preserves your contacts on your battery and of course increases safety. probably have noticed this black connection feature that's to connect the 5 volt uh, USB connectors these connectors this switch has a integrated 5 volt buck and can produce up to 2 amps per uh, USB uh, at 5 volts so when you're building your battery you'll be able to have the features of charging your phone off your high voltage battery perhaps adding some lights for example, if you're building an e-bike or an e-scooter or any of those uh, type of batteries, you'll be able to add lights and uh, charging capabilities for a lot of your peripherals uh, to make it very useful. Other uses are perhaps you're, um, you have a, a battery pack powering a uh, hub, a, wi a Wi-Fi hub away from your home where there's no electrical uh, wiring and a camera connect your uh, hub here and you connect your camera here uh, some solar panels to the battery and this should be able to get you the results uh, that you want so that's a brief uh, summary of the GLE nano solid-state switch uh, let's take a look at the bench um, we're gonna go over to uh, Fedora the engineer and and see what he's what, what he's up to let's cycle this power we're going to be applying 20 volts, 0.1 amps from this power supply. We've got a black lead and a red lead connected to the jig. So 
So what we're gonna be looking for is the LED on this button and this battery capacity display. It's gonna turn on when I push that button. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna hit output on this power supply. So you're gonna see that LED is blue. We're supplying 0.004 amps. This LED is on over here. So that is already showing us that five volts is active on the board. Here's the switch. You see that nice blue LED and the green, the battery capacity display. So we have a circuit on here that makes sure that if you have any kind of vibration in the field when you're riding, that it doesn't just accidentally turn on. So, so this has no mechanical a, parts, right? That is a momentary switch. Yeah, that's a momentary switch with just four leads. Inside of there, there's a metal contact. Mm -hmm. And when that presses down, it's sending an electrical signal and this brains board is doing some some magic to make mm -hmm. sure that you stay protected when you're out there. Okay, so basically the uh, board has firmware and it's one second turns on or, or a quick press turn on and like uh, how many seconds to turn off? Half a second. Half Hold. a second. Okay, so that prevents any uh, accidental turn off. Right, so like a really quick press, that's yeah. all it takes to turn on and then like let's say, oh, I kind of hit it. Oh, whoops. Like. I could even like be pressing it, jiggling it, <laughs> see it doesn't turn off. So you really gotta like hold it. Okay, and so this is basically a digital uh, solid state switch. Yeah, right on the money. Okay, mm -hmm. now can we test those USB ports? So you'll see that this is connected to also to the jig here and I have it split into two pieces, USB A. Now I'm gonna turn up the current here to make sure we can supply enough power. So let's go up to an amp. Okay. Quick question, Fedor. What is this uh, solid state switch rated for in terms of voltage? You have on the input 60 volts. Okay. Max. Pretty high. Yeah. You can handle a good amount of custom batteries. You can make out in there on the market. And power walls. Definitely power walls, custom batteries. Bikes, scooters. Yeah, a lot of LEVs. Okay. Uh, what mm -hmm. is the current that we can push out of this thing? Well, on the main load, on the muscle board, you can handle 60 amps continuously for half an hour and probably even more than that. In bursts. Yeah, in bursts it can actually handle up to 120 amps. Okay. And when we did that it was, it was rock solid so it could probably even handle more. Okay, awesome. That's in the future. Okay. Let's, let's test that load. Yeah, let's so I'm gonna connect this in. So right now this is not gonna turn on because this switch is not pressed in. So as soon as I press this That'll allow me to engage this, and you can see that green LED turn on the light. Boom, there you go. Oh, it's pretty bright. Yeah. It's a lot of power coming out of those 5 volt USBs. Yeah, each port can output 2 amps. Okay. Excellent. They can power a lot of your LED applications. Lighting, illuminating the road, again, providing safety for right. you. That's our main concern. So this is not only a solid state digital switch, but it's also a buck converter. That's correct. Right. A 5 volt buck motor, which pretty much can charge your phone, power your LED lights, and things of that nature. You got a lot of bang out of your buck because you're right. getting a big load, which yeah. can handle your your motor. Right. And then you also have that USB for accessories. Right. You can charge your phone with it. You can put, again, lights on it. All right. LED strips on it. Now, this also has yeah. a smart charge capability, correct? Can you explain that to me? Yeah. You gotta charge your batteries at some point. Right. We provide you a barrel plug in the kit, and we also provide you a charger port. And this, this is a smart charger port. For The reason for that is when you plug this in, it'll turn on the battery capacity display. So it, let's, okay. let's just watch that again. That's pretty neat. Disconnect that, see it's off. Connect that, it's on. Oh, that's pretty neat. So you don't have to have the battery on or your power wall on or whatever it is that you're making with this device, you don't have to have it on. The moment you put the charge port in, it tells you the state of charge of the battery and uh, it, it'll show you in real time as it's charging. Precisely. Okay. And you can see that, you see how this button, the LED's not on? That means right. the system is not gonna be pulling current. Right. And you can verify that here with the bike lights. See, they're not turning on. Okay. Even though this display is showing you right. how much and this display, it. you can program it to up to a 16S battery, correct? This particular one, but you can use pretty much any display um, right. with this application. Well, folks, we're looking forward to seeing what you can do with the GLE Nano. 
And to kick it off, we're going to start a battery building contest beginning May 15th to August 15th. Submit your battery build, hopefully utilizing all of the features that the GLE Nano has to offer. Submit it to support at glengineering.co, not .com, .co. We're going to be reviewing your build. Uh, hopefully, if you can video your build, time lapse your build, and then provide a um, details of your build. Uh, first prize winner is going to be five hundred dollars. Second prize winner is going to be three hundred, and third prize is a hundred. So we're really uh, excited about what you can do with the GLE Nano. So we're looking for creativity, use of all the peripheral features that the switch has to offer, and. Um, ease of build so uh hopefully you guys can get to building thank you for watching